Blessed be your name, Lord. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elohim. We worship you. We glorify you. Jesus' precious name.
tonight. Hallelujah. Psalm 34 and verse 1 to 3 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let's sort his name together. Lift your voice. Everywhere you are, let's give him praise. Let's adore his name for his wonders, for his grace, his mercy. Upon this mountain, Lord, we thank you. Be glorified. Thank you, Adonai, for miracles, for signs, and for wonders. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Genesis 26 and in verse 13. Genesis 26. And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Lift your voice tonight. Lord, tonight on this altar, we connect to the unction for career breakthrough. We ask, Father, a Kalata, in the name of Jesus, we connect to power, to grace, to unction, to breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that tonight for your servant, empower him, and not him afresh for our sake. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hallelujah. It's time to call somebody, wake a friend, a neighbor. It's time for the hour of prayer and the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. As we welcome the praise team to God the Father.
Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Please be steady in God's presence. Tonight, God is set to visit somebody tonight. Please take your seat in God's presence. Wherever you are, put a call through, reach out to somebody. Let them know it is time for us to connect for the midnight prayer. God bless you. Let's look at the doings of God in some testimonies tonight. Hallelujah. We have brought Johnson E. from Maraba, Nasarawa State. I want to appreciate God for healing me of satanic movement from my knee down to my legs. It started three weeks ago. I ignored it. But this week, the movement became excruciating. I went to the doctor on Tuesday and he gave me some drugs that made me to sleep more than necessary, after which the vibrating movement will still continue. I decided to discontinue the drugs. On one of the nights, while Dr. Paul Lenetia was making declarations, he mentioned my case and said, I take authority over satanic movements from the knee down to the legs. I claimed it as my word. I went back to sleep and woke up to realize that the movement has stopped. Hey, hola, hola. I am healed in Jesus' name. I don't want to take it for granted. God bless the entire command the David that prayer family. Amen. Hallelujah. Goodness from Emo State. Above only that's our place. My word came on 3rd of April 2024. God someone was making declarations and he said, Father, give goodness a visitation. The pit they dug for you, you will not be buried inside. You have seen yourself and the in the pit, but you will not be buried inside. This word is so accurate. Oh, I had a dream where a lady I know was holding my picture and placed it in a coffin. I woke up that day and was dressing to go to work and I slumped. My mother and my sister were in the room. They started shouting and screaming till I came back to life. Last week, I saw my father in a dream also with a gun. Immediately I saw him, I ran inside my room and was struggling to lock my door as he started shooting, but he didn't get me. I thank God for remembering me and putting my word in the mouth of a servant. I believe I'm totally free from the spirit of death and delay in Jesus' name. Declaration is attached. In the name of Jesus. Father, give a visitation to goodness. The pit they dug for you, you'll not be buried inside. You have seen yourself and seen a pit that a dog like a pit of death. You will not be buried inside goodness. You will not be buried inside goodness. And I prophesy to everyone here connected around the world. Every pit of death they have dug for you. Those who dug it shall be buried inside. Amen. I see somebody standing behind a coffin and they're asking you to enter. I said, that is with your eyes open, with your feet on the floor. I declare today, those who put that coffin there, they shall be buried inside that coffin. I declare, they shall be buried inside that coffin. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Baby, clap and shout of praise. Every death they plan for you, is returned back to hell in Jesus' name. Amen. We have Brother James G. from Germany. Above only greetings, I want to thank God for delivering me from the hands of monitoring spirit. I started following commanding the day of media prayer on 9th of January and the 16th. God servant as the senior pastor Paul, senior pastor Paul in nature, mentioned my case and he said that he takes authority over monitoring spirits, monitoring devices, and says someone watching right now that you are aware that something is around you. He said, it's me, sir. For so many years, I cannot sleep at night without being oppressed. Sometimes, two to three times in the night. In the night, I feel their presence whenever they are around. I have done so many things in a bit to rid myself of this evil presence to the extent of me buying an incense, an incense machine. I put it on in the night so the smoke could drive away the spirit just for me to have a peaceful night's sleep. <laughs> but all to no avail. But since that brutal declaration by the senior pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, on the 16th of January till eternity, I have been sleeping like a baby. No more negative spirits, no more bad energy in the house anymore. I don't want to take this for granted. God bless you, sir and ma. May the oil on you and in you increase more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a prayer. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the incense to drive away. Wow. <laughs> the incense could not burn the nonsense. Spirit. 
monitoring mirrors, monitoring gadgets, monitoring devices. Wherever they are monitoring your life from, from the witchcraft covenant, from the waters, from the from the from the from the from the, from the native doctor, witch doctor house. I declare the monitoring device set on fire. A victim of such monitoring, things are about to happen, then it flops. Things are about to break forth, then it flops. You have even seen it in the dream, in the revelation, where you are being monitored. I declare it's over. You, you, there are people watching me right now. You just feel a presence around you all the time. You are aware that something and somebody is around you. You can't tell. I cut you off from that demonic presence. I set them on fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Bro, Christopher from Lagos. Cavalry greetings to all the wonderful children of the Most High God. I have come to thank God for putting my case in the mouth of a servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. I had a dream on the night of Thursday slash Friday, 4th, 5th of April, 2024, where some men, where some gunmen gathered some people together with me for a reason unknown to me. And when I decided to leave the garden, I got shot at my back. Then I woke up, though at that point I couldn't feel any pain. The following day, which was Friday the 5th, I played ball after work and I started feeling pains all over my body. But I concluded that it was because I haven't played football for, for long. Not until when this case was mentioned in the day, midnight prayers. When I woke up after 2 a.m. and replayed it, the senior pastor says, someone here, you had a gunshot in the dream, like a stabbing shot on the chest. You woke, you woke up and was having chest affliction. I take authority over that missile. You are retrieved and checked back to hell. I shouted, Amen. And went down on my knees immediately and lay flat on the floor till the end of the prayer. When I got up, I heard the sound of my bones and the pain was gone. Hallelujah. I believe that my inability to remember some of, some of my dreams will also be dealt with on this prayer altar. Amen. Thank you, the senior pastor and our mom in the Lord as well as everyone that contributes to the success of this program. May God bless you beyond measures. Declaration is attached. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone else, you had a gunshot in the dream, like a stabbing shot on the, on the chest. You wake up in the morning with a chest affliction. I take authority over that missile. You are retrieved and fired back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and let's give the Lord a praise. Celebrations, let's celebrate the miracles. Go, go, go. shout of praise hallelujah please you may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching from all over the world and uh, wake up your friends your neighbors your loved ones tell them tonight god is doing something mighty and something awesome and they can't be left out praise the lord welcome all of you tonight once again and we'll take a few more testimonies testimony from mrs n l from a boy in stage she says above only that is my place she has come to return all the glory to god for his faithfulness 
On Easter day, the senior pastor made a declaration on healing for glaucoma, and she keyed into it. She didn't even know that she had been healed. It was from Easter Monday that she was able to read what she couldn't read before. On Easter Tuesday, she went to work. Okay, there's Easter Tuesday, right? Uh, she went to work with her glasses. But during healing and deliverance service, she was able to join without putting on her glasses to the extent that she even forgot her glasses in the office. Hallelujah. God healed her son of chronic superative otitis media. That defied antibiotics even after culture. She is so grateful to God because her dad and two of his siblings are blind due to glaucoma. Mm. God has averted that from her life. Mm. May God bless all the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Mm. Praise the Lord. Declaration is attached. It's a left eye pain that somebody has and it is a glaucoma. I take authority over that glaucoma. I command it arrested in the name of jesus somebody shout the lord and say amen amen every family cycle around your life i declare that cycle is broken in the name of jesus amen amen hallelujah testimony from pastor makino joseph from dallas texas says good glory be to god almighty hallelujah what an incredible impactful prayer platform he was introduced to this prayer platform through his wife. Even though he had heard of Dr. Paul Enenche, he never knew of the prayer platform until his wife introduced it to him. He started following on March 24th, 2024, that date again. We've had so many testimony from that 2404, uh, uh, okay, this is March 2424. On the 26th, which will be the 26th slash 27th in Nigeria, Dr. Paul Enenche mentioned his case that there is someone with a last name Joseph or Jacob with hypertension and also some financial or job-related situations. He immediately keyed into that prophecy because he had been on hypertension medication for 23 years. He received it with all his heart and immediately stopped the medication. He has been praying, waiting, and believing God to see it happen, but nothing has happened that will make him stop the hypertension medication until that fateful day. Since then, until eternity, there's been no more prescription medication. Blood pressure has normalized without medication. He gives God all the glory and sincerely thanks the Lord for this commanding the day midnight prayer platform. More grace, more anointing, and more incredible, impactful manifestation. He is now completely hooked on this platform. He's looking forward to coming back with more testimonies in Jesus' name. Declaration attached. And then I'm seeing Jacob Joseph is the name. I see the person's name is Jacob, and then the father's name is Joseph. All right. I don't know if it's the same Joseph, but Jacob Joseph with a high blood pressure. Also, is an inherited an inherited hypertension i declare today that that blood pressure is crashed down to is to normal in the name of jesus wow hallelujah give the lord a praise in the name of jesus what he says to one he says to all everyone with a victim of blood pressure is back to normal in jesus name. amen sister sarah from lagos says praise master jesus hallelujah she joined the command of the day midnight prayer on january 24th she was reading comments on on a facebook page of another ministry where someone brought a problem and someone also commented and said jesus <laughs> and told the person join the commanding the day midnight prayer and your problem will be solved by the god of dr paul enenche immediately he saw the comment he quickly left facebook and went to youtube to search for the program he can't even re remember the name of the person that posted the comment. That was how he started following the program till date. It has changed his midnight prayer life. Uh, oh, her midnight prayer life. She has a daughter of two years and seven months who has, who has adenoid, hypertrophy. adenoid hypertrophy. And the doctor also suspected Hirschsprung's disease, which they were planning to carry out surgery on both sides because she couldn't stool by herself. She had to insert 
Duco lacks supersedures before she can stool, but still it's always a tug of war. She was ho losing hope because people that joined the program after she joined were already testifying. She was asking herself why she had not yet testified and kept telling God to remember her and her daughter in this program. There's one testimony of Anna Noah Owokuno. She listened to the next day. She played the testimony, which uh, again, and the testimony brought her hopes alive again. Then, boom, her daughter's word came from the mouth of the senior pastor on the 6th of April. In the declaration, he said he takes authority over adenoids and tonsillitis that's almost blocking the nose of a child. She shouted, Amen! Because her daughter had adeno has adenoids. Immediately, her daughter that was restless during the prayer fell into a deep sleep and woke up in the morning without any symptoms of it. Hallelujah! From the bottom of her heart, she is not taking this for granted. She is super grateful to God, and she knows that he will perfect everything concerning her daughter. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, sir, and Ma, for this unbeatable program. More grace and anointing, amen. Declaration attached. I take authority over adenoids and tonsillitis. That is almost trying to block the nostrils of the child. I declare in the name of Jesus that agenda of the devil is arrested forever in Jesus' precious name. Wow, amazing. Give the Lord a praise. If you've been following and you haven't got your own testimony yet, get ready. It's happening right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, Sister Blessing A.O. from Bielta says, says, above only, that is our place. She's here to return all the glory to God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who has never failed. She bumped into this prayer platform on Facebook in November 2023, but she didn't take it seriously up until December 2023 when she became very serious. In fact, her neighbors in her compound all joined this prayer platform through her. Her right ear had an issue for three years now. It started with pains and later she stopped hearing with the ear. She has tried all she could. She went to see the doctor who had attempted and who had attended to her mother some years back when her mother had ear issues. He told her it was the same thing that happened to her mother that she was experiencing. She got home and said she cannot go deaf. So she started presenting as part of her supplications. In February 2024, the senior pastor was always declaring every commanding demi night prayer. The right ears are popping open. She claimed it. After some weeks, she discovered she could hear, but it wasn't really clear. On the 5th, she joined the prayers and continued praying. After the commanding the day midnight prayer ended, on the 6th in the morning, she felt a movement in her right ear. She quickly used cutting board, but it was as though she was pushing whatever it was further in. So she quickly looked for something else. Lo and behold, here is what she brought out. The picture is attached. It was like cement and she can now hear clearly. Is that not witchcraft? Child. Is that not witchcraft to cement the ear canal? Ola, 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 she says. She does not take this for granted. God bless you, Pastor Sir and Dr. Mrs. Becky, for this great work. She really appreciates all the commanding day midnight prayer crew. To God be the glory. Let's take a look at, oh, oh my, my God. God. Hallelujah. This came out of the sister's ear. I announce to you today that anything that they have used attempting to block your life, block any part of your system, today it is arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the declarations. Okay, there's no declaration. All right, let's stand up on our feet as we celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrations again.
God a shout of praise. Please wake your friends, wake your loved ones. We are here again to see the almightiness of God like never before. Psalm 118 verse 1 verse 24 it says that this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we are glad. We want to rejoice. Lift your voice and say after me. Say Father, Father thank, you thank you for this day you have made for gladness, of gladness for gladness, of gladness and, joy. and joy. Be glorified O oh Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Again Father, Father thank, you thank you for this day you have made for gladness, for gladness and, joy. and joy. Be glorified O oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Acts chapter 10 and in verse 38, the Bible said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the drastic, for the drastic manifestation, manifestation of your power, of your power and, presence and presence today, today at, the healing, at the healing and deliverance service. And deliverance service. Be, glorified. Be glorified, Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the drastic, for the drastic manifestation, manifestation of your power, of your power and, presence and presence at the healing and, the healing and deliverance, and deliverance service. service. Be glorified, Be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go on ahead and speak. <laughs> Drastic manifestation of your your power and presence. In Jesus' precious name, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and in verse 14, he said, We know, and I know, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. God does it that men should fear before him. I declare what God has done is doing in your life. No devil can touch it. Amen. No devil can temper with it. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, take we take authority over every enemy, enemy. counteraction, counteraction, counter counter against, against your works in our midst. We, we bring them into defeat into and establish, and establish your works, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead and pray. We take authority over every enemy, counteraction against your works in our midst. We bring them into defeat and establish your works, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard us and answered us in Jesus' name. Isaiah 55 and in verse 12, Isaiah 55, 12, this says, For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Amen. And the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. Amen. As you step out today, every mountain standing in front of you collapses. Amen. They disintegrate Amen. and dematerialize Amen. and they are dissolved Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray after me and say, Father, Father 
I step into this new day with the joy, peace, and strength of the Lord to collapse all mountains on my way today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, I step into this new day with the joy, the peace, and the strength of the Lord to collapse all mountains on my way today. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord has said and answered us in Jesus name James chapter 1 and in verse 17 James 1 17 March to copper. every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning lift your voice and say after me say father I take full delivery of every good and perfect thing you have in store for me in this new day Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I take full delivery of every good and perfect thing you have in store for me in this new day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Amen. first John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15 says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us and if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him lift your voice and say father, father we, step we step into this day, into this day with confidence, with confidence knowing, knowing that we have been heard and answered oh lord, oh lord in the name of jesus, name of jesus. Father, father we step, we step into, this into this day with confidence, with confidence knowing, knowing that we have been heard and, and we have been answered oh lord, oh lord in the name of in jesus name of go jesus. ahead and pray <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, welcome, so, wake someone up as we step into this very brutal segment. Psalm 35 and in verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery. Amen. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Amen. Wow. That is the portion of the unrepentant wicked. Say after me, say, Father, Father let the way of the unrepentant wicked be dark and slippery today. today. Let the angel of the Lord execute neither judgment until their wickedness is terminated. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, 
led the way of the unrepentant, wicked, be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord execute needed judgment until their wickedness is terminated. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Let the way of the unrepentant we can be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Let their wickedness be terminated. Today, unrepentant. In Jesus' precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Luke 10, 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to spread on serpents and on scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Jeremiah 43, verse 12a. 43, 12a. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and they shall burn them and carry them away captives. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the relief of the fire of, the fire of your judgment on, on every enemy altar, enemy altar of unforeseen, of unforeseen battles, 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 surprise, surprise and harm, evil conspiracies, evil conspiracies bad, reports, bad reports, strange arrows, strange arrows of, disease, of disease and untimely death. We, we declare them set on fire, on fire in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we ask, we ask for the relief of the fire of, the fire of your judgment, of your judgment. On, every on every enemy altar, altar of, of unforeseen, unforeseen battles, battles surprise attacks, surprise attacks evil, evil conspiracies, conspiracy, bad report, bad report strange, arrows strange arrows of disease, of disease and untimely death against everyone connected, connected related, related associated, associated with this altar. With this altar. We, declare we declare these altars. These altars Set on fire, set on fire. Roasted, roasted by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. Somehow we skipped number five and no devil can hinder us from seeing number five. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I... All right, so there's a mistake in that passage for, to start with. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1 to 2. Isaiah 35 verse 1 to 2. Verse 2 in particular. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice Amen. even with joy and singing. The glory of Paul and Nenche shall be given to him. Amen. Call your own name. The glory shall be given to her. The excellency of Camel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Lay, pray the prayer after me and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of glory, of glory and flourishing, flourishing by the help of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, declare I declare this new day, this new day my, day my day of glory, of glory and, flourishing and flourishing by the help, by the help of, the Lord, of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. go ahead and pray.
In Jesus' precious name. The Lord heard us in Jesus' name. Amen. The work of your hands are blessed. Amen. Your career is blessed. Amen. Your destiny is blessed. Amen. Deuteronomy 28 and in verse 8, it says, The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give thee. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that you empower, you empower the work of my hand, of my, hands, my, life, my life, my career, my, career, my, assignment, my assignment, my destiny, my destiny to bring about, about needed need and, and desired desire resolve, resolve in this season. In this season. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, Father, I ask, I ask that you empower, empower the work of my hand to bring about, to bring about needed, needed and desired and desire resolve, resolve in this season. In this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Everyone in the UK, get ready. Fire is burning from fire, fire. Thursday. Joel chapter 2 and in verse 3, the Bible said, A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for your visitation, for your visitation. in the United, in the Kingdom, United Kingdom, Kingdom that will overrun the, the, the whole of Europe in this season. In the name of Jesus. Father, Father we, ask we ask for your visitation, for your visitation. in the United in Kingdom, the United Kingdom, Kingdom that will overrun the whole of Europe in this season. Your fire visitation that will overrun the whole of Europe in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mark 3, 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his goods. Want to bind territorial powers over Europe. Luke 10, 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. We dismantle, we dismantle the agenda, the agenda of, the of the territorial principality, principality of, the kingdom, of the United Kingdom in this season, in this season and command it and to, to bow, bow to the authority, the authority of, Jesus of Jesus this week. This week. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, we dismantle, we dismantle the, agenda the agenda of the territorial principality, principality of the United, of the United Kingdom, kingdom in, this in this season and command it to bow to the authority of Jesus this week. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. My shut up.
in Jesus' precious name. The Lord heard and answered all. Shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and the Lord shall praise. Hallelujah. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones as we proceed to the next level. Very soon we shall be taking the personal supplications after some testimonies. Let's celebrate the King. Let's go. This is my season of bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go and look at some testimonies and then we'll be through. Sister Kufre P from Port Harcourt. Greetings to all the commanded in my prayer family. Above only that's my place till eternity. <laughs> glory. I've come to return all the glory to God Almighty for his mercies over my life and family. I joined this platform on November 2023 at midnight on YouTube because for about two months before I came into contact with this fire altar, I couldn't sleep once it was 12 a.m. until morning. Now, a big shame to the devil because what he meant for evil turned for my good because my prayer life is now on fire. Here are a few of my testimonies. One, God healed my little boy of six years from bad breath, ah, which was a concern to me and my husband because we had already given up and concluded that he would be living with it for the rest of his life. But God showed up for us when a testimony was showed concerning, shared concerning the same situation. I grabbed the same prophecy and the same testimony was replicated in the life of my little boy to the glory of God. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. On one of the nights, a testimony of one Mrs. Rita from Worry was read of God's healing over her life where a pap smear. A pap smear test was done for her and she became a shadow of herself because of fear. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, as that testimony was going on, I held on to God, reminding him that I couldn't hear such a testimony with my ears and I remained the same. As at that point, I had already been bleeding for three months non-stop. After the testimony, Pastor Paul and Enche stood up and decreed that anyone with a similar case that has brought them fear, that the yoke is broken and that that bleeding stops right now. I screamed, Amen, brethren. I felt goosebumps all over my body. The next morning, I checked myself and the flow dried up. Somebody give the Lord a praise. I freshened up for a, a new day. Still used the sanitary toilet just in case. To my greatest surprise, not a drop till evening. When I got back home, the bleeding checked back to hell where it belonged. Until eternity. That's his place in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. God bless all the commanded day midnight prayer crew for your selfless sacrifices to humanity. You will not miss your reward in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Daniel Bui David Jalingo Taraba State. Above only, that's my place. Greetings to all the commanded day midnight prayer crew in Jesus' name. I have come to return glory to God Almighty for what he has been doing in my life and family since I joined the commanding the day midnight prayer family. I joined the midnight prayer since on the 6th of November 2023 through a friend and since then I have been following with my family and neighbors on the 26th slash 27th March 2024 commanded the midnight prayer. The senior pastor Dr. Paul Enenche was rounding up and boom he said some people are sitting on their testimonies and are expecting another one. Hola, hola, hola. 
brethren, that is me. Oh, because God healed me. Of a, of, of a right ear affliction, and I didn't testify of it. On the 19th of March, 2024, the man of God accurately mentioned my name and my challenge. He said, there is somebody with a name that starts with a D, with the right ear that is closed. I cause that ear affliction. I command the ear to pop open in the name of Jesus. I placed my hand on my right ear and shouted, Amen. He went further and said, whether it's Dennis or David or Daniel, <laughs> and he is both David and Daniel. I command that ear to be open. Whether his first name or son and brethren, my first name is Daniel and David is my father's name. <laughs> I've suffered from this year challenge for nine years. Since 2015, apart from pains, I partially hear with the ear and it used to bring out irritating smelly pores. But after the declaration from the man of God, everything stopped till eternity. I can't feel the pain again. The pores dried up and I can hear clearly. I can't take that for granted. God be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all for making this command today. May I pray possible. Shout the Lord the same. Declarations attached. There is somebody with a name that starts with a D, with a right ear that is closed. I curse that ear affliction. I command the ear to open right now. In the name of Jesus, whether it's a Dennis or a David or a Daniel, I command that ear to be open, whether it's the first name or the son name. And everyone with such an affliction, it Both is first name and son name. <laughs> Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. At this juncture, I must also remind people who are sitting on their testimonies. I've seen, I, I, I'm aware of very, very accurate, drastic, prophetic accuracies that have gone forth, that have not come back as testimonies yet. I want you to know that God is watching and is, 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 is watching for your faithfulness with what he did for you already before he does the next one. Rush it in tomorrow. Situation mentioned, whatever, with detail and answers and results. Ensure that it is released. God bless you. Let's go to the next one. Mrs. Rose Amos, Kakuri, Kaduna State. Calvary greetings to all the Commanded Day Midnight family, all my Commanded Day Midnight Prayer family. Is this how the Almighty works? I got married in the year 2014. November, November 14th and 15, 2023 to be precise. And God blessed me with the fruit of the womb in less than two weeks of marriage. I gave birth to a baby girl after nine months through a cesarean session. But she passed exactly three months after delivery. By the mercy of God, I got pregnant again but had a miscarriage after a month or two and my womb was flushed. Since then, I could not conceive. My husband and I have gone to hospitals. As in different hospitals except we don't hear of any new hospital in town. We have also used different kinds of herbs. Native medicine, still no result. We have also been to FMC Lokoja, where I was initially attended to. The doctor said that I'll be operated of boils growing around my fallopian tube region, denying the fertile eggs access through the tube to the womb. Hmm. Some of the doctor's language I could not understand. Operation was successful, but still no result. Sometime in October last year, my husband's younger brother sent us the link to command the day midnight prayer. We connected and started following. That same year and month, we joined Dynamis Church. Wow. January this year, 2024, we attended the foundation class at the second week of February. We started our maturity class, which by the grace of God, we have completed and have graduated. Early February, at the command in the day midnight prayer, this person decided to do everything, just went full blast. Command the day midnight prayer, tagged all around fruitfulness for those looking for the fruit of the womb. We keyed into it with baby clothing as point of contact. After the personal supplication session, Pastor was making prophetic declarations and he said, Some are even pregnant now that they should go for pregnancy tests for confirmation. We were returning home from church after a midweek service in February when my husband urged me to go for the pregnancy test. But before then, I saw a revelation in my dream where Pastor came for a crusade. That was before the Kaduna Inland Deliverance Crusade in reality. After the crusade, I prepared a meal and took it to him at his, at his lodge. I knelt down before him and related my predicament to him. How after the demise of my first child, I got pregnant again and had a miscarriage. And eight years now, I have not conceived. He asked me to lay down on one of the double seaters in the lodge. He used his stethoscope to check my stomach, abdomen. And after that, he now performed a surgical operation on me. He cut open my abdomen and removed volumes of mucus from my womb. 
and he said it's okay now oh wow he explained that when my womb was flushed after the miscarriage that was the origin of the problem brethren while I returning home from the midweek service that Wednesday I branched to a pharmacy where my blood was taken for a test and I was confirmed pregnant Jesus eight solid years thank you Baba doctors have done their very best for eight years and no success was recorded but God used his servant to handle it in just one night I am short of words this kind God I never see your typo I have come to return all glory to God Almighty God bless you sir for this selfless service unto God for humanity may the oil upon you continue to overflow in Jesus mighty name amen I shall return with more mouth watering testimonies in Jesus name amen declaration attack Everybody connected everywhere you are watching from all over the world and you are having a female reproductive system challenge it is over forever as was declared the other day it will go to the laboratory and they will tell you pregnancy has already happened even today in the name of Jesus incredible this guy God oh I never see your typo. This kind God, oh. Blessed be your holy name. Are we done? Wow. Operation was carried out in the dream of the night. Pause was removed. It is over now. Even the origin, the prophetic was operating even in the dream. The origin of the situation was mentioned to her in the dream. Behold, very, very accurate prescription. Wow. Give the Lord a praise. Let's go. This is Potakot. Something is happening to you. Get ready tonight. More will happen. Praise the Lord. Blessed M from Potakot. I want to appreciate the Lord for his mighty deliverance upon my life. Pastor, de Pastor declared against high blood pressure on the command of the name in April of 6th of April 2024. That someone's head has been hot, especially at the middle, and it caused that affliction. Proud to this time. It's like my head was caged. I felt it literally. My blood pressure was very high. After the prayer, I prayed with my younger sister and I lay down to sleep. Then I had an encounter with the angel of the commission using the face of Pastor Enenche. He conducted deliverance on me. Another encounter. He poured salt on my feet. Wow. Carried water and poured on my head as if to wash it using a razor to scrape some part of the top of my hair and came close asking me do you know anybody in your father's house called Owo Korowo I said yes and he, and he asked who he was and as I was trying to explain to him I woke up from the encounter my head was calm life returned to my feet and my body because prior to this time, it was as if I would just collapse and die. My feet were like, there was no blood in my body. Thank you, Jesus, for this deliverance. God bless you, Sanma. May your oil continue to increase each day. Declaration attached. <laughs> I see a head condition. That was a strange like fire in the head. person with a strange name. I see a condition like fire in the head. It's like a tumor, something in the in the in the head, inside the head, in the brain, that has caused fire to, as if they are hitting the head from inside. Right now, as I speak, that devil checks back to hell, and you are receiving a cold sensation now that is going to cause that head to be healed. Wow. Can we stand on our feet and celebrate for one minute? Everybody. Now I want everyone celebrating tonight to celebrate your divine visitation encounter tonight. Divine visitation encounter tonight. Let's go. This kind of world, never see a typhoon. This kind of world, let's have the old name. This kind of world, I never see a typhoon. This kind of world. Just can't get this guy. I'll never see your time.
fighting testimonies and we shall listen to them very, very quickly. Please go ahead. Prove Holy, that is my place. My name is Joseph Johnson. I came to testify to the goodness of God for what God has done for me through commanding the day midnight prayer. God has really blessed me. Through this commanding the day midnight prayer, my prayer life changed. Everything about me changed. I used to be so dull while praying, but God in heaven helped me through this commanding the day midnight prayer. It's a very wondrous and life-touching uh, altar of God of which I have tested and I've seen how God is so great and powerful. I have been trusting God for, for over a course that I want to enroll on. I put it in prayer as a prayer point every day. I pray, I, remind, I remind God of it through his word and I remind him. Whenever I come to commanding the day midnight prayer, when I was staring to the man of God while preaching, or uh, dancing, all my mind is go through this man, through the power you install through this man. May something wondrous be done to my life that I will have testimony to share. Today I'm here live and direct in Benin City. I have been released two days back. Now I have reported all the way from Castina to Benin, and I'm in Benin life and direct. God has helped me. They have released me from my course. I give thanks to God in heaven. I thank God I have done my documentation. And what left for us is the uh, screening. And I pray to God. That, is, that was the reason why I say, God, you that released me, you that have signed it that I was released down to this place, you will never disappoint me. And I will be among the best out of the screening. And I will never be screened out. I shall go back with my AB-107 successfully. So I have come to say, God, thank you. Above all, that is my place. I'm from the city of the state. I joined this, comm this commanding the day through my husband. Before I joined, I used to have horrible dreams. Night me. When it's approaching night hour, there's no fear. This fear that comes whenever I say, it's night too, how can I pass through this thing again? But since I joined this commanding the midnight prayer, the horrible dream stop and the nightmare stop. Secondly, cobweb spirits. Anywhere I go, I experience cobwebs. As if nobody's passing there, but there are many people passing there. But since I joined this commanding the day, no cobweb spirits, nothing like that again. Thirdly, I used to see myself in the gym, in my village, or my secondary school days. Right in the sun. But since I joined this prayer altar, commanding the day of prayer, he stopped. My big baby, he doesn't stammer before, but unfortunately I saw him stammer. But since I joined this altar, commanding the day of prayer, I stopped immediately. And there is a declaration, the senior pastor, he declared that there is somebody that they are using his face to attack somebody people in the tree. Unknown to you, how people treat you like an enemy. And he prayed that the truth will be unveiled under a few days. My brothers and sisters, after a few days, three days, the elderly men and women in that community started telling my husband, ah, they are using your wife so to attack people in the tree. And your wife is innocent. He said, good one. Lastly, he declared that there is somebody complaining that beds used to follow him, but follow her wherever she goes. It is true. And he declared that every covenant causing it be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. I claimed it and shouted amen. And I, I saw this. At every declaration, my father, Dr. Pastor Poen Neche, have declared concerning me and my family it will come to pass in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a prayer. Hi, everyone. My name is Jonah Grisho from Maraba. I want to thank God for what He has done for me. On this commanding the day midnight prayers altar. I joined the commanding the day midnight prayers in November 2023. And comparing that time and now, my prayer life, I, 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 can't, I can't even compare it. Like the gap is just too much. It has been awesome. I really thank God. And secondly, I have escaped two robbery attacks since I joined this commanding the day midnight prayers. I don't know if it wasn't for God. I don't know what would have happened, so I thank God for that. And thirdly, I want to thank God too, because before there is this kind of fear that I used to have all around me. But the level of my fear before I joined the prayers and right now, like I feel a, a lot of confidence right now.
I, I feel a lot of confidence and I want to thank God for giving me that confidence and peace of mind. So I really want to appreciate the, the Lord and I want to thank the senior pastor and his wife for this great work. I don't know how they do it, but I pray may the Lord strengthen you and may the Lord give you more strength for you to keep doing it. Thank you everybody that is trying to make this or that has been make, making this a success. God bless you. Thank you. Above only, that's my place. I'm Abaka Mariel from Cross River State. I want to testify to the glory of God. 2023, August, September, October, November, December, I was struggling with paranoia, negative thoughts, thoughts that somebody would die. I will sleep in my dream, somebody would die, and I wake up crying. Or when I sleep, I will dream that my mother is informing me about somebody's death and I will be crying. I was struggling with a lot of negative thoughts. My sister was sending the links to me, but I used to follow every now and then, but not every day. So on, uh, I think, the crossover night, Papa declared that that person struggling with negative thoughts and anxiety and all of that, worry, you cannot sleep because of worry that uh, it takes authority over those thoughts and since then it's eternity those thoughts check back to hell. Secondly, I, I've been battling with spiritual husband for the past, I don't know, since when I was 14 years old. So that night, I think it was around March, Papa declared that when he comes tonight, you are going to stab him. So, and truly he came and then I I was scared at first, but then I summoned Cory on remembering Papa's words and then took hold of it and we fought and I, I, I hit him on the floor and that was the end of it. Thirdly, I told God that I needed to be more on fire during the uh, one of the uh, personal supplication. So I told him I wanted my prayer life to be more on fire, that I wanted to speak in tongues and he answered my prayers and my prayer life has, uh, my spirituality, my life in general, my emotions has like experienced a paradigm shift. I've, I've experienced a rebirth in my spiritual life and life in general. So I just want to say thank you to the Command the Day Midnight Prayer Crew. Thank you to Papa, Dr. Paul Eneche, and your beautiful wife. I am so grateful, and I've come to return all the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Will you stand on your feet, people, wave your hands. These are incredible testimonies. Incredible testimonies. Only Jehovah could have done it. Is it the revival of the prayer life? Is it the audacity to face the day? Or face the devil without, without, without fear. Is it deliverance from enemy cycles? It's, it's incredible. The woman been regenerated from Benin. So many testimonies. Witchcraft, witchcraft attack. All handled. Elders in the village came coming out and said, they are using your wife's face to, to attack people. Oh no. What a faithful God we serve. Today, I ask that my God and your God will give you a visitation. Let's go before God and thank him in personal supplication first in 30 seconds and then another 30 and that 60 seconds of prayer whatever we're trusting God for.
Can we all stand up on our feet, hands lifted in appreciation to God? May you be the Lord of all. May I decrease that you may, you may increase. May you be the Lord of all. I speak upon you. Father, thank you for all that you have done. I speak upon your hands. The work of your hands. The work of your hands. The work of your hands. Your destiny that the devil closed. I declare an opening. I declare the opening up of your destiny. I declare the opening up of your destiny. I declare a new season, a new phase, a new door. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is speaking to someone that has a name, that has an O and a K in front, 
and that has a raji, a, a raji inside as well. The person has a right knee condition now, just transient affliction. And in the name of Jesus, let us the conspiracy of witchcraft that locks you out of your destiny, locks you out of your portion, and locks you out of your inheritance. Others have access to what is yours, but you are out. Today, it is broken in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone today. First of all, with an affliction of like arthritis, anywhere it is, I declare it's arrested. In the name of Jesus, and everyone, strangers are in your inheritance. Others are in your, in your portion. I declare today is the end of that agenda from hell. Clear out in the name of Jesus. I'm also speaking to someone here. They are contesting your property with you. They are contesting your property with you. Before the next seven days, I declare the contest is over. And I declare what is yours released into your hands. Who is he that see it and he come to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Who frustrates the tokens of liars and make a diviners mad? I see a certificate that is, being, that is literally hidden or concealed. Something that, that, that appears to be missing but is actually hid by somebody. I declare today it is exposed and unveiled. And within the same duration, it is released in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the healing of that liver condition. Whoever it is, receive your healing from cirrhosis. Fatty liver disease, I destroy the power of alcoholism. Be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Hepatitis cleaned out. In the name of Jesus. And here is the healing of candidiasis. Oral trust. And every other form of candidiasis. I declare. O tenor expired in the name of Jesus. While the Lord. While the testimony was going on about the left eye healing of glaucoma. Earlier on. The Lord on the same spot showed me. A right eye of somebody with a similar condition. I declare you are not going to go blind like your father. Like your mother. Like your pe people in your family. I declare that left. That right eye. Be healed right now. The pressure is over from it. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. And there is a lot of reproductive miracles happening right now. Blocked fallopian tubes are open. They are opened up right now. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is destroyed by the power of God. Endometriosis, endometritis, mahashata um, kalkala, adenomyosis, leke teke freta sataka, multiple fibroids, poly, uh, hyperprolactinemia, galactoria. I take authority over your affliction that bound these people from giving birth to children. You are arrested in the name of Jesus. According to the time of life, your children are in your hands. And even as I speak right now, Somebody already took you, you are not aware. Again, go check yourself. And as I speak right now, under the next 72 hours, your children are in your hands. You are asking yourself, Lord, the testimonies you are giving to these people, what, what did I do that you haven't seen, visited me? You, the other woman said, God visited her in the dream of the night and then performed the surgery on her system using his servant. And you are saying, Lord, what of me? Visit me in the dream of the night. Give me a, a visitation. Do a surgery in my body and give me my testimony. Now, and, and, and that one was so drastic because they said they just joined the church in, in, in just in the last one month or two. And he said, I've been here for 13 years. I've been here for 10 years. I've been here for 8 years. I declare today, no devil will temper, will temper with your commitment to God. No devil will question the God that you serve. I declare every question cleared out. Divine visitation encounter that will give you a change of story and bring your fruit of the womb. You are not just getting one, you are getting double for your trouble. You are getting triplets in the name of Jesus. I declare today the fallopian tubes are cleared out in the name of Jesus. How can you get married as a virgin and yet they say that you have blocked fallopian tubes? What infection blocked the fallopian tubes? I'm talking to somebody. I command it cleaned out right now in the name of Jesus. Now go ahead, go, go ahead and bring forth 
your children i can call your name but there's no need in the name of jesus go ahead and bring forth your children that woman with the name that starts with an e Ikapatalata, married clean and yet block fallopian tubes in the name of jesus i command it clean up receive a visitation of god overnight and go and bring forth your children somebody give the lord a shout of praise hallelujah are you master whether it's the first name or a surname susan helen these are names of people that god is just visiting right now with fruit of the womb matters but i take authority over witchcraft attack the witchcraft dreams that you experience in this in in, in, in the night when you think you have taken in all of a sudden a witchcraft visitation a monetary spirit a manipulation someone touches your abdomen in the dream let the city free takakazara in the daytime it is flushed out you have an attack of a fight in the dream and then suddenly it is flushed out today i declare the last one shall be the last forever in the name of jesus somebody has been healed of a crippling condition right now a situation that is attempting to paralyze you and make you to crawl as i speak right here i command you rise up and walk receive fire in the name of jesus i take authority over the addiction of smoking in the life of somebody Malosha, how can you be a, a good christian name and just be a smoker and just walking on the street like that that is not good for you a new testament name good name the hand of god is upon you don't quench the spirit of god there is grace upon your life if you will give your life to christ there is healing power on your hands not that you are called as a full-time pastor but you go to hospital lay hands on people and they'll be healed yet you are smoking and then quenching your spirit and the spirit of god with smoke i take authority over that devil that demonic spirit clear out right now the chain is broken set free i just said something and i'm sure you heard something it is possible for god to place something in your hand as a gift and yet you are not called as a full-time pastor you prayed for a blind you prayed for the deaf and they are healed does not mean you have a full-time calling bear that in mind there are people you are in your full-time business full-time career work teaching and yet god is sending you to hospital you are laying hands on the sick clearing out afflictions in the course of your duty you are touching life and changing stories many have been derailed because they saw some gifts and they talk there are people who are so prophetic they see clarity of vision hear god clearly yet they are not full-time pastors or ministers at all they are just they are just they are just intercessory prophetic friends of god that he, he give the privilege of showing them and revealing things to them from time to time i like us i i i believe that this clarity is needed for somebody so that nobody pushes you into something that is not your calling hallelujah that's the case of that guy that was smoking and quenching his spirit god has a gift in his hand and right now i take authority over the spirit of death graves dead people i see a boss and and i shall the boss is marked is marked he has a, 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 a red mark on it like that like a cross you shall fill with dead people and they're asking you to enter the boss in the name that is above every name i declare you shall not enter that boss you shall not enter with the dead every spirit of death looking for you i declare the spirit of death is arrested you shall fulfill your days the last time you saw dead father dead mother dead relations is the last forever somebody say loud amen the serpent dream is over also the dreams of tortoise and millipedes and, and crawling things is over also in that oh someone saw something that in the dream like a crawling thing and you you woke up in in the night and saw the same on your bed physically i take authority over that demonic manipulation in the name that is above every name it is set on fire in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus precious name i feel fire tonight i sense there will be diverse encounters tonight god will send angels healing spirits deliverance angels fruitfulness it says diverse visitations tonight and just get sleep with expectation because you shall be waking up with revelation that will translate into manifestation and tomorrow night is fire night somebody say fire 
what sort of fire number one fire of passion passion spiritual passion number two fire of judgment fire that needs to roast whatever needs to be roasted it is a fire night it's a midweek service and it's a fire night it will be the last commanded day midnight prayer that will hold before the next one holds in london do you understand ensure that you are part of it and then on thursday we are broadcasting from the uk and ensure that everywhere you are around the world you are joined hallelujah somebody feel feel fire here shout the lord and say amen now place your hand uh, on your chest everyone who needs to surrender their life to jesus wherever you are watching and say lord jesus i am a sinner in need of your help come into my life and make me a new person today i have decided to follow you lord no turning back forward ever backward never thank you lord in jesus name amen hallelujah let's know you pray the prayer just now i will be glad to come and touch with you people are rushing in the eclipse please rush them in and we will be glad to take your testimony as the time to miss us and also don't forget the prophetic words that came accurate sharp with results like the david daniel who didn't testify let your own be sent in immediately god bless you in jesus name stretch your two hands in front of you hands are blessed results shall look for you in jesus precious name somebody say aloud amen anybody in the united kingdom will look will, will see you in the next in the next few hours let's say after midweek service the next place we shall be it is london england inform your friends inform your loved ones people are already somebody sent to me he said his wife has already booked the flight he's on the flight right now from canada going all the way to europe somebody else from america going all the way to you to to, to, to to london england and from nigeria I, someone met me uh, today yesterday in the office you see i'm on my way to london i'll be waiting to receive you there wow a member of our protocol officer and so on and so forth and people are going from everywhere ensure that if you are meant to be there ensure that you are there god bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you yes that liver condition i mentioned liver again this is for another person in the name of jesus that right hypochondriac pain i declare it retrieved and refired back to hell and you are whole the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in jesus name rushing to register in the uk program go ahead and give god your offerings tithes pledges on the platform and god give you a visitation in jesus name 2024 and above only god bless you give the lord a big shout of praise
Is my earphone dog? Is my earphone? Yeah. 